take us through this uh, fight in the Northern Territory. The Deputy Chief mm. Minister up there had shares in an alcohol company bought only months before he was a driving force behind the decision of the Territory Government to not to extend those alcohol bans. We all saw what happened when they were uh, alcohol was put back into those town camps. He's really under fire. Well, and the tell here is that he divested these shares in Metcash at the time Natasha Files, the chief, the then chief minister, had to resign because of her share scandal. So he looked and realised, oh, God, what am I doing with these? But now he is under full attack from the opposition, quite rightly, over whether he declared this when they were around the Cabinet table making decisions about alcohol bans. Did he um, stand up and say, as he has to... Well, I have to declare a conflict of interest. I have these shares all over. When I went and looked it up here, he only owns, for at the time, he bought them for $436. Why would you bother buying shares in an area you know you're going to have to talk about around the Cabinet table? It just seems reckless to have bought them in the first place. Matt Cunningham seems to think he won't survive. What do you think? Well, Matt would know better than me. He's got um, all the mail up there from the NT. It just seems like it stinks once you get into this point of the government, you know, saying, well, we can't tell you whether he told us around the Cabinet table. He either did or didn't declare it, um, and that has to be the end of the matter. It was, was good enough for the Chief Minister, the former one. It should be good enough for the current Deputy. Hey, James, just quickly, we find out there's more Chinese-made surveillance cameras in and around government buildings. But in Victoria, we find they're sitting in state MPs' offices. Now, I thought we cleaned our, cleaned our act up here. Well, yeah, look, I think certainly federally we've cleaned our act up somewhat. But the thing is, this is a big worry because these cameras, of course, are owned by Chinese companies and under Chinese state security laws, they all have to act essentially as agents for the Chinese state and intelligence services if and so requested. So, you know, it's not just what they could spy on. It's, it's that they could be monitoring activities, seeing when things are busy. They could tell when a crisis is coming. They could tell an awful lot of bits just gleaning patterns of arrival, departure. There's an all sorts of things that they could be picking up and putting together with all sorts of other data they're getting. Huge worry. They've got to rip these things out tomorrow, it seems to me. And uh, Trudy, the uh, almost extinct uh, spectre of Liberal government around the country mm. could end March the 23rd. Uh, Tasmania goes to a state election. Yeah, another roll of the dice here for Jeremy Rockcliffe. It's been pretty testy for some time. Even before Christmas, there'd been the threat of this early election. He's pulled the trigger today, uh, taking Tasmanians to the polls. He says the situation was unworkable with the current parliament. You know, there's a lot of people who turn independents when you look at this in Tasmania, and that's what's happened to him in terms of two former Liberals. Uh, wasn't able to get the deal he wanted with them in terms of not letting them vote for anything when it comes to the opposition. So now the whole state's going to the polls. And the interesting thing about um, Tassie, Peter, is their vote system. They're expanding the parliament from 25 seats at the moment to 35 and they've got Hare Clark, which is a funny system of electing MPs. And so potentially, even though he says the current parliament's unworkable, they could actually get more independence uh, after this next election and things could be even more tricky for him dealing with a crossbench. Yeah, Hare Clark is a nightmare. I, I do not uh, want to be sitting around the desk there on March the 23rd trying to work out who's going to form yeah. government. Thank you both for your time. <laughs> James Morrow there, Trudy, you're wonderful.